today we will discuss about percentage uncertainty so how to find the percentage uncertainty of a measured value so the equation that we are going to use is percentage uncertainty i write the short form is equals to the uncertainty in the measured value so uncertainty in the measured value divided by the measured value times 100 percentage so this is the equation that we generally use to find the percentage uncertainty of a measured value so let's check how to find the percentage uncertainty of an of a value for example the uncertainty of the measured value uncertainty of the measured value may be 0.2 and the measured value measured value is 1.4 so we find the percentage uncertainty by dividing the uncertainty 0.2 in the measured value divided by the measured value that is measured value is 1.4 and the uncertainty is 0.2 times 100 percentage so by solving this we get the percentage uncertainty in the measured value has 14.3 percentage now let's see this with an example so the example is as follows the internal diameter d1 and the external diameter d2 of a metal tube are d1 is equals to 45 plus or minus 1 millimeter so here the plus or minus 1 indicates the uncertainty in the measured value of 45 d2 is equals to 60 plus or minus 2 millimeter so 2 indicates the uncertainty in d2 so the question asked here is what is the percentage uncertainty in the thickness of the tube so how we are going to solve this equation so the thickness of the tube t can be found by subtracting t2 d2 minus d1 so the actual value of the thickness will be 60 minus 45 which is equal to 15 millimeter so 15 millimeter is the thickness of the pipe or the tube now we want to measure how much is the uncertainty in this one so this is a very simple problem it's just the subtracting two values here so how we are going to do in case of uncertainty so uncertainty in t in the value of t is calculated like uncertainty that means plus or minus so it can be 47 in case of sorry 46 in case of d1 or 44 in case of d2 it can be 62 or 58 so how we are going to do it so the uncertainty in d2 plus the uncertainty in d1 so even though the actual measured value we subtract uncertainty is always added so we have plus or minus 2 is the uncertainty in the measured value of d2 plus 1 the uncertainty in the measured value of d1 millimeter so this comes as plus or minus 3 millimeter so this is the uncertainty that will be there in the t so the percentage uncertainty in the value of t will be the uncertainty in t divided by the calculated value of t that is 15 millimeter into 100 percentage so 3 divided by 15 times 100 percentage this when calculated will come around 20 percentage so this 20 percentage is the uncertainty in the thickness that we measured let's see the next example which is related with the 
volume of the box. The question is like this. The dimension of the box are recorded as following. The length L is given as 5.0 plus or minus 0.2 centimeter. The breadth B is given as 4.0 plus or minus 0.1 centimeter. And the height H is given as 8.0 plus or minus 0.2 centimeter. Now, let's see how to calculate the percentage uncertainty in the volume. So, as in the initial case, how to find the volume. So, volume of the box or the object is given as volume V is equals to length times breadth times height. So, the volume calculated here will be 5.0 times 4.0 times 8.0 which will give us a value of 160 centimeter cube. So this is the volume that we calculated. Now we want to calculate the maximum percentage uncertainty or error that will be there in the volume that we calculated. So we find that delta V divided by V. Delta V is the uncertainty in the volume and V is the volume that we calculated times 100 percentage. So how we are going to do this one? So it can be plus or minus the uncertainty in the length divided by the measured value of length plus the uncertainty in the breadth divided by the breadth plus the uncertainty in the height divided by the height. So these are the uncertainty that will be there in the volume times 100 percentage. Now we substitute the values of the uncertainty and the length measured length. So 0 0.0 divided by 5.0 plus 0 0.1 divided by 4.0 plus 0 0.2 divided by 8.0 times 100. This can be plus or minus times 100 percentage. So we get the percentage uncertainty or percentage error of this one as 9 percentage. So there will be a 9 percentage of error or the uncertainty in the measured value of 100 or the calculated value of 160 centimeter cube. Moving on to the third question, we are going to find the maximum fractional uncertainty of the density of the metal. So the question goes like this. The mass of a block of a metal is 11.5 plus or minus 0.5 kilogram and its volume is 1000 plus or minus 20 centimeter cube. How much would you express the density of the metal? So initially we will find the density of the metal. So the solution is density is equals to mass divided by volume. Finding or uh, the given value of mass is 11.5 divided by 1000 will give us 1.15 into 10 to the power of minus 2 kilogram centimeter raised to minus 3. So we found the density. Now we are going to find the maximum fractional uncertainty in the density value. So the equation is same like maximum fractional uncertainty fractional uncertainty is equals to the uncertainty in the value of the density rho divided by the density value equals to plus or minus the value of uncertainty in mass divided by the measured mass plus the uncertainty in the value of volume divided by the measured volume. So because of the fractional uncertainty, we are not going to multiply by 100 percentage. So I want 
the fractional uncertainty in the density. So I rearrange the equation like plus or minus the value of uncertainty in mass, sorry, divided by the mass plus the uncertainty in the value of volume divided by the volume times, now I multiply this with the density to change it into how much is the fractional uncertainty in the value of density. So I substitute the values now plus or minus the value of mass is 0 0.5 divided by 11.5 plus 20 divided by 1000 times the value of density that we calculated is 1.15 into 10 to the power of minus 2 using the calculator we can find the fractional density is plus or minus 0 0.07 times 10 to the power of minus 2 kilogram centimeter raised to minus 3. So this is the fractional uncertainty that we found in the density that we calculated. That will be the uncertainty in the value that we calculated. So how we are going to write it? So the density rho is equals to the calculated value that is 1.15 plus or minus this value 0 0.07 times 10 to the power of minus 2 kilogram centimeter raised to minus 3. So we get the value like this one. So 0 0.07, 0 0.07 into 10 to the power of minus 2 is the fractional uncertainty in the density. Okay. In the fourth problem, the question is given the diameter of a wire is 0 0.56 plus or minus 0 0.01 millimeter. What is the cross sectional area of the wire? So, here we are going to find the cross sectional area of the wire and we also will find the percentage uncertainty in the wire. So, the cross sectional area of the wire we can find by using the equation area equals to pi d square divided by 4 because here its density sorry the diameter is the given quantity substituting the values we can get pi by 4 divided into the value 0 0.56 the whole square millimeter square we get the value as 0. 2463 millimeter square. So this is the calculated value of the area of the wire. Now we are going to find the maximum fractional uncertainty. Fractional uncertainty. Again, uncertainty in the calculated value of area divided by the calculated area is equal to plus or minus 2 uncertainty in the value of the diameter divided by the measured diameter. So you can see now because it's the area is pi d raised to 2 divided by 4. So this power is should be multiplied with the uncertainty there, the measured value of the diameter divided by the diameter value. So here you are going to multiply that 2 there. If it is a cube, when we find for the volume, it will be 3 there. So moving on, so plus or minus, so the uncertainty in A will be plus or minus 2 into the uncertainty in the value of diameter divided by the value of diameter 5, 6 times the value that we measure calculated for the area is 0 0.2463 millimeter square, which will give us a value of plus or minus 0 0.009 millimeter square.
So this is the fractional uncertainty in the value of area. So when we write the area, area A is equals to the measured value, uh, sorry, the calculated value which is 0 0.246 plus or minus 0 0.009. We neglected the value of 3 here because we are going to get the fractional uncertainty to the third decimal place. So it's accurate to three decimal places, millimeter square. Okay. The fifth example, in a simple electrical circuit, the current in the resistance is measured as 2.5 ohm plus or minus 0 0.05 milliampere. The resistance is, resistor is marked as having a value of 0 0.7 ohm plus or minus 2 percentage. If these values were to be used to calculate the power dissipated in the resistor, what would be the percentage uncertainty in the value obtained? So here you are going to find the percentage uncertainty. But one value is in the fractional and another one is in the percentage. So you have to make sure both the values are in the same uh, Either it should be in the fraction or in the percentage form, uh, in the same form. So what we are going to do is how power, first let's check how power is related with these two quantities. So the given value of the current I is 2.5 plus O plus or minus 0 0.05 milliampere. And the value of the resistor is given as R is equals to 4.7 ohm plus or minus 2 percentage. So one is in percentage form and another one is in the fraction form. So we have to make sure that both are in the same form. Now, how power is related? Power is related with these two quantities by the equation P is equals to I square R. So this is the equation for the power. Now we calculate the value percentage uncertainty in case of I. So how we are going to do is that I, so I is given as 2.5 O plus or minus 0 0.05 milliampere. So the percentage uncertainty can be found like the uncertainty in the value of current divided by the value of current which is equals to 0 0.05 divided by 2.5 O which is equals to 2 percentage, 2 percentage. So now we converted that into 2 percentage. Again, we check for the R value. So delta or uh, delta R divided by R is also 2 percentage. Now we substitute for the power value. So we know the power value is I square R. So I square R. So what we do is that we change that into the percentage form. It will become 2 times delta I divided by I. This can be plus or minus. So I'm not going to write that one. Plus it will be delta R divided by the value of R. We know the percentage there, right? So 2 times 2 percentage plus 2 percentage here. So this one will become 2 into 2, 4 percentage plus 2 percentage again will become 6 percentage. So the percentage uncertainty in the value that we are going to obtain for power will be 6 percentage. So this will be the percentage uncertainty in the value of P. So after finding all these percentage value, after seeing all these examples, I hope that you might have understood how to find the percentage uncertainty of a given value. Thank you for watching the video.